The 2nd Squadron, 13th Cavalry Regiment's Military Transition Team, or MIT team, is working on strengthening the non-commissioned officer corps in the Iraqi ranks. The squadron's MIT team recently assisted the 41st Iraqi Army Brigade in their first junior leadership course. Following the class's success, leaders discussed an NCO development program and even sergeant's time training. 4110 MIT team's training NCOIC, Sergeant First Class Sean Berry, talks about how Iraqi NCOs can function in the IA. You know, there are certain aspects that an NCO can take care of, that an officer can stay out of, and it actually it will lighten the burden for the officer corps in the Iraqi Army. Sergeant First Class Barry is working with the 41st IA Brigade Sergeant Major to distinguish their NCOs as leaders with a defined purpose. Looking forward to the future, uh, we, we, we hope to see that the Iraqi Army will actually utilize their NCO corps more uh, and use them more as a resource as opposed to a barrier. Developing the non-commissioned officers corps creates responsible, empowered leaders for the Iraqi Brigade. Command Sergeant Major Philip Pandy of the 1st Armored Division's 4th Brigade Combat Team tells us how completing individual jobs are key to mission success. The officer has certain things they need to focus on, the NCO has a role that they need to play, and the soldiers, you know, he has his role, obviously. You need to get all three of those different groups working in their lanes, doing their job, in order for that army or that group to function properly, especially in combat. 213 CAV, the 4110 MIT team, and the Iraqi Brigade success demonstrates how the year of the NCO is working beyond U.S. soldiers. Reporting for the 4th Brigade Combat Team, 1st Armored Division, I'm Army Sergeant Jarrett Simpkins.